Oh, hey, how are you? Uh, just wanted to say Happy New Year to everybody. Um, been a rough 2020 and 2021. Uh, just wanted to say I hope everyone had a good holiday season. Uh, have a very happy new year. And let's hope 2022 is a lot better than the last two years we've all struggled through. Um, here in the layout, been uh, as you notice, haven't put a lot of videos up. That's because I've been kind of busy with other things going on. Uh, by the way, the scars up there, it's all it's all healed up pretty good. Um, it's kind of funny. Some of my friends say, well, hey, hey, Rob, don't worry about it, man. Chicks dig scars. Yeah, that may be true, but chicks don't dig short, fat guys. So trust me, there's no chick diggery going on around here. Uh, but no, things are doing fine uh, on the medical front. Fully back to normal as norm, no, normal as I am. Most of the stuff I've been doing on the lay, I do have a couple things to show. I've been working on a scenery here in the back, the curve way in the back there from Sharon over to Eugene Yard. Been doing a lot of DCC conversions, sound, adding sound and doing uh, DCC stuff like that, which I haven't really videoed. Um, it just, I don't have the best setup. You know, I'm just talking to the camera here right now anyway. Didn't even put my lapel mics on. So I, I, I didn't feel right that I could adequately provoke, uh, put up a good video showing all the work that you do. Because, and, and to be honest, guy, when I'm doing these, some of these DCC stuff, I don't know what I'm doing. I just sit down and say, all right, well, I got to do this and I got to put this decoder in. And, you know, what motherboard do I want to use? And anyway, I don't have a real good plan. So it wouldn't make for a good video. Not that any of my videos are good videos, but hey, hey you do what you can. So again, so what we're going to do today is a little bit of a different treat. I actually, for myself, for Christmas, I couldn't resist it. I went out and bought a Broadway Limited T1, Reading T1 484. Uh, some of you know uh, that I've been with the channel for a while. My father was a huge Reading fan. And I have a, a scene that I'm, you know, a, a Reading station. And Eugene Yard itself is named for my father, uh, Robert Eugene Bennett. So in, in honor of him, I, I just had to have it. And I got to say, it, it's, a nice, it's a nice locomotive. Uh, now, it's not weathered yet, which I do want to do. Um, it runs very, very well. It's a Paragon 4. And now they come with their current keeper. I think that's what BLI calls it. So it has a keep alive in it, basically, which I tend to like to have, especially on the steam engines. I notice they, if, the, if the pickup isn't real good, they tend to stall sometimes. So I ran it around the layout. We're going to follow a coal train, empty coal train around just for fun. It runs really well. The only thing I did to it so far, when I first got it, put it upside down, took the trailing truck off, turned the smoke switch off. Because I've heard horror stories of the smoke units in BLI units, I guess, overheating and actually melting the boilers. Well, I don't want that to happen. So I turned it off, um, ran it, I put it in JMRI. And if, you, if you're going to do a Paragon 4, you guys know this, but you need the latest version. I think it's 4.26. Came out December 16th of JMRI. Has the, the Paragon 4 decoders. Otherwise, it won't notice. The, I don't think it's it's in the program. So I updated that, went in, tweaked things a little bit. I'm not saying it's perfect yet, but I really like the way it runs. It's nice, and it and my dad would be so thrilled. I mean, I really I wish he was here. He would love running this thing around the layout. So in honor of my dad, Dad, I miss you, man. Um, we're gonna get into that video coming up. I do have some other videos. I'm gonna try to show what I did on the New York Central H6A from Trix. That was a bunch of work. Um, but I, I got it done and I'm really happy with it. I didn't take video, but I have a lot of photographs, so I might try to do a kind of a photo montage and talk about what I did. Um, working right now on a Stuart VO 660 that um, one of my friends purchased at a train show. I got that going on, almost done, almost. Uh, I have a bunch of New York Central F units that I want to get worked up. Um, I've been working back here on the scenery and just, you know, tinkering around. I, I know not a whole lot, but all right. 
So again, for those that are perhaps new to the channel, uh, this is the first video watching, you have my condolences. But no, seriously, thanks for joining us. You'll notice I tend to talk a lot. Um, hey, it's just the way I am. But let's uh, er, shut up, Rob. Let's get to the video of the Broadway Limited T1 hauling an empty coal train out of Eugene Yard. And, we're, and it, it, it runs the whole layout. Not every single scene, but I try to capture a lot just, just for fun. You know, let's, let's have some fun. Let's run a train. Let's see what it looks like. Um, it's interesting when you, I, I should have thought more about if you really want to video your layout, it's hard to get it set up right. So you're, when you're videoing, uh, and I tried to get down low, kind of like a track level, but you still have fascia, control panels, you know, pens and stuff are sitting there. It's like, uh, but it's a layout. So anyway, again, Happy New Year to everybody. Here's hoping for a better 2022. Uh, good health for everybody out there. And again, I really do appreciate everyone uh, who's with the channel, who's been with the channel, who watches these inane, babbly videos. And more to come. I have a couple more in the works. Uh, I'll try to get more into a rhythm. I say that, but I probably won't, but I'll try to. So, again, enjoy. Let's go follow an empty coal train at a Eugene Yard.